Hey, Picks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here with a free college basketball play for you guys. We are going to talk VCU at Dayton for Friday, January 13th. But before we do that, I got to tell everybody about Caesar Sportsbook. Wager up to $1,250 in a risk free first bet when you sign up with them. All you got to do, click on the link in the description of the video, It'll take you right to your state specific instructions. And win or lose on that first bet, you'll get a thousand reward credits, thousand tier credit points. Use the promo code GTD. GTD full. That'll get you all that stuff I just mentioned. With me today, we brought in expert handicapper, talks some college basketball, Dan Kaiser. How we doing, sir? Doing good, doing good. Doing, doing a lot right, better. Get... Doing a lot better since Sparty took care of Michigan over the weekend in basketball. So, Come on. so it's what we do: college basketball. Uh, VCU Rams at the Dayton Flyers. Flyers minus seven and a half. Over unders are even one twenty eight. Dan, what's your play on this? What are we doing? Yeah, I was looking at this game. We got the best two teams in the Atlantic 10 at this point in the season, and probably they'll be the best two teams in the Atlantic 10 when, when the conference season is over. Both teams coming at 12-5 and five, uh, so far this season. Dayton is 4-0 and in the in conference play, while VCU is 3-1. and one. Uh, These two teams played uh, twice last season with uh, both teams uh, getting one win. Uh, VCU comes in averaging 71 points a game. And on the defensive end, they give up just under 65 points a game at 64.9. Dayton uh, averages 68 and a half points a game, and they give up uh, 58.4 points a game. They both played uh, Duquesne this season. Dayton won at home by 12, while VCU lost uh, on the road at Duquesne by nine. So you got these two teams. They play very. Uh, they win similarly. They like. To, they win with their defense. But offensively, it's two different types of uh, teams here. VCU likes to play at a faster pace. Why Dayton likes to, you know, slow the, the game down. And I look at this one as the fact that Dayton has a, a definite size advantage and rebounding advantage. So I think they'll be able to control the pace in this one and, and, and slow VCU down. And they'll be able to dominate in the in the paint and score some easy baskets. Dayton is 9-0 and at home. And I just like the fact that they'll be able to, I think they'll be able to play this game more at their style and, and their pace. So I'm going to lay the seven and a half at home and take the date flyers. Yeah. I was just going to say at home, I think this is, if this was on a neutral site or at VCU or something like that, maybe I would be a little iffy on it, but um, considering it's at home and the way they play at home, I, I like the flyers minus seven and a half as well. Uh, Dan, tell us what you got going on over at the site, picks and parlays.net. You got a bunch of stuff coming up for football. I'm assuming. Yeah, it's going to be an NFL heavy weekend. There'll probably be some college basketball in there also. But yeah, I'm going to have at least one play, either side or total up on every wild card game. And there's a possibility that some of those games will have both a side and a total. So lots of action uh, this weekend on, in the NFL. Sounds good. Don't forget when you're over at picksandparlays.net and you're looking for Dan or any of our other premium handicappers, use this promo code NFL. That'll save you 20% off the entire site. Until then... Dan's taking the Dayton Flyers minus seven and a half. Until, and also, good luck unless you're against us. Go green, go white. We'll see you guys later on the flip side. Take care, guys.